played PC game in the world with more monthly active users than Canada has citizens times three. The top League of Legends players from around the globe, they're descending upon South Korea where 24 teams, including three from North America, are set to compete for their share of a very rich prize pool and the glory that comes with earning the Summoner's Cup. Here to explain everything I just said, I know some of you are like, what did you just say? Uh, the years, uh, this year's tournament kicks off next month. The head of League of Legends North American Esports, says Chris Hopper, along with, the, and this is where my head explodes, three-time NBA champion, term partner at Vision Venture Partners, and now an LOL nerd. I love this. Rick Fox. How are you guys? <laughs> I'm great. Yeah, we're doing well. I love, this, is, uh, this is like this is surreal to me. All right, explain. One of my favorite things, I love showing major esports events to someone who didn't realize how far this whole thing has come. So we're going to do this on a big scale right now. Tell us about the champions. championships. They're kicking off uh, October 1st in South Korea, and this is bigger than most people realize. For sure. You know, it's a, it's a 24 team tournament that'll be playing uh, over the course of 21 days, building up to our finals uh, in Incheon on, on November 3rd. Uh, it'll be broadcast in something like 18 languages across, I think, 25 different channels globally for English language coverage. You've got YouTube, Twitch.tv, uh, and ESPN Plus. Wow. Um, and you know what's amazing about this is that this is professional teams from all of these all of these regions. These aren't you know college students playing on the side. This isn't just you know the best kid in your neighborhood at this game. These are guys dedicating you know dozens and dozens of hours every week to perfecting their play, working with their teammates. They're drawing salary. You know they have multi-year contract deals. They're having individual sponsorships now. You know the the level of of scrutiny on these guys is is comparable to that on NBA players. You know we're seeing immense pressure from you know social media and, and the need to kind of uh, see these players you know grow in this industry is is really kind of a an interesting challenge for us. So you know everything that you think of when it comes to traditional sports, I would say is is largely echoed here, and uh, you know it makes it exciting and, and challenging at the same time. No question. I, I remember uh, growing up as a kid whenever like. There was a one kid in every class is like, I'm gonna be a video game designer. And everyone's like, Psh, that's not a real job. And the parents would roll their eyes. Now you got video game <laughs> players <Smart kid. laughs> pulling six salaries. I mean, how, how much are we talking here as, uh, as professional player? Uh, you're the top of your game. What could you be making? The average salary is 320 plus uh, and you can get multi-year contracts. Uh, I mean, there's players associations that support the players. Uh, there's, you know, possibility of long-term careers. Now, it is a small percentage that become the best in any field, of course, right? Of uh, but that's what makes it so entertaining. That's what gives the the, the pleasure and the celebration of, of watching the mastery, right? Mm -hmm. um, but the thing that I think is most beautiful about this that I think we're probably most proud of is that being a part of this league, League of Legends, and being a part of Riot Games uh, as an industry here supporting uh, these passions of the kids, mm -hmm. they've created an infrastructure that allows for not only... Uh, the kids to play the game, but they can go to college on a scholarship. There's over 800 kids in scholarship. There's these same kids that have made it through college, gotten a degree, have now become pro players in our league. That two of them are actually going off to the world championships this year. And so you can see that there's a there's a path to pro, yeah. right? But at the same time, if you don't make it to the pro, a lot of guys didn't make it to the NBA like I did, of course. right? But they became coaches, they became agents, they became lawyers, uh, they became broadcasters, journalists. They supported the industry, and they still got to live their passion by being a part of the industry. Well, that is available to people, boys and men and women, boys and girls out there that want to be a part of this. It's available to them. We need you. You will support our players, uh, and, we'll, and we'll go on and build this industry on the backbone of your hard work and your passion. That, that's awesome. I mean, I'm, I'm such a fan of eSports. I gotta admit, I can't play League of Legends. I'm not very good at all. However, <laughs> I love watching. Take some time. I mean, I play, but I'm not, I'm not the best. <laughs> you know what, there we go. You're Rick Fox I do, tonight. yeah. We're, oh we're, yeah, we're Rick plays start, a lot. We're gonna start a bronze level league. We'll, we'll just start there. We'll play the other plebs. Okay, we'll go. figure, well, it's the pleb there series. <laughs> We, then we'll do a pro-am. Yeah, yeah, I'll help out, I'll coach. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> we want to learn more. Where do we uh, catch the tournament? 
So if you want to learn more, your, your home base is going to be lolesports.com for all information about teams, standings, tournament bracket, et cetera. And for the live play, go to twitch.tv, youtube.com, or ESPN+, Plus, uh, as well as probably another 20 different platforms uh, across, the country, across the world. It, it's pretty ridiculous. Wait to see the, the, where they're playing it, too. They have this crowd around them. It's going to be bananas. Uh, guys, congratulations on everything. I look forward to seeing the, uh, the championships on October 1st. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. All right, watch as the fiercest competitors from around the world face off for the ultimate League of Legends showdown, the 2018 League of Legends World Championship. It kicks off Monday, October 1st in South Korea, and millions of people will be watching. To learn more, visit lolesports.com. Riot Games is a proud sponsor of the Morning Blend.